Hello everybody, this is the Reveal Explorer. We have come to Abiyane. Abiyane is one of the special and scenic villages of Natanz in Isfahan province. This village is popular not only among domestic tourists but also among foreign tourists and here often becomes the subject of their photography. This village is one of the few villages in Iran that still native people wear their traditional clothing and have preserved it. The red color of old buildings as you see located on gray slope of mountain have given a double charm to this village to Abiyane. This village is very spectacular and attractive for viewers. Before visiting this village please click the subscribe button as it motivates us to upload more videos. Stay with us. We are working in nested alleys of Abiyane. Local people named this village Viuna. Both Viuna and Abiyane have the same meaning, whether there is water or not. Walking in alleys of the village and watching the red colored houses on the mountainside and local people in traditional clothes is the main reason for sightseeing in this area. In addition, you can record these pure photography subjects forever. The combination of nested alleys, various historical monuments, geometric windows, inlaid doors, and etc. is spectacular and attractive for every viewer. Here we have a fire temple. It is considered to be the oldest work of this village. This fire temple is an example of Zoroastrian temples. Only a small hall is left from its lower floor. The fire temple is called Harpak, which in Abiyane dialect, Har means below and Pak means step. The fire temple was built during the academic Achaemenid period, so it's more than 2,000 years old. The floor, which you are visiting it, is dedicated to religious rituals. It is located at the street level. The dome-shaped hall of this structure led to the fireplace and other parts related to worship. You 
see geometric windows. As this village is located at 2,200 meters high fr from the sea level, so this village has good weather. Here we have an example of inlaid dough. All alleys of this village are connected to each other. Water of this village is supplied by seven aqueducts. While walking in nested alleys of Abiyane village, you will see some small shops or let's say stalls uh, visiting them you can get souvenirs we will visit one of the shops soon before going for the shop this house is one of the oldest the four oldest houses of this village we will cover this house soon after visiting the shop While walking you see native people, local people in traditional clothes. He is welcoming us in Abiyanes dialect. The main souvenir of this region is dried fruit, lavashak and some dried flowers uh, also give is one of the souvenirs of this region
after visiting the shop, it's time to visit one of the oldest houses of this village. By going up these stairs, we will get to the roof of the house. There, we have a fascinating view of the village. wooden ceilings. Let's go to the roof. The life of native people is based on agriculture and animal husbandry, which is done with traditional methods. Abiyane women have an effective role in participating with men in economic affairs. As I mentioned, seven series of aqueducts of this village are used to irrigate fields and gardens, which have products such as wheat, barley, potatoes, and various fruits such as apples, palms, pears, apricots, almonds, and walnuts. The form of the structure and the type of materials used in them, in the structure and houses of this village, are also influenced by location and weather, which has caused the formation of a trust or let's say a stepped village with a dense texture and connected buildings. Structures are also built facing the valley and back to the foot hill. After visiting the whole village from the roof of this old building, it's time to explore other historical monuments of this village. Stay with me. As you see, women wear their traditional clothes. This building is another historical monument. It's a shrine. It is around 900 years old. Let's enter. I prefer not to say anything as the building talks itself. After visiting the shrine, going this alley, we will get to a wonder. Follow me. What I'm going to show you is considered the first building of this village, the oldest house of this village.
this house is considered to be the first house of this village. So, the oldest one. As you see, it has geometric windows. Here we have an example of inlaid doors. It's wonderful. In addition to these monuments, historical monuments, there is another old building which is the best reason to visit this village. Stay with us to visit. We are going to visit the main mosque of this village. It is said that this mosque is 900 years old. Before that, it used to be a temple. Talking about the temple, it is more than 4,000 years old. Stay with us to visit. We are at the main entrance of the main mosque in Abia. This door is another example of inlaid doors of this region. It was once stolen and sold to a foreign country. It has its own story. You must visit this play to hear its story. Let's enter the mosque. This mosque is 900 years old. Some pillars, wooden pillars of this mosque has not been have not been replaced. Look at the ceiling. Each shape refers to one family of this village. Here, men used to pray. A step upper, as you see, women used to pray, which means women were honored special. Here we have a preacher's seat. It is 1300 years old as is written on it. There is another preacher's seat similar to this one in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. We have another wonderful place to visit. Follow me.
This part of this mosque is around 4,000 years old. Here used to be a temple before becoming a mosque. There people would take off their shoes, then enter to the temple. This temple is, or let's say, dates back to Zoroastrian period. This used to be the altar of Zoroastrians. People would come here before sunrise, praying till after sunrise. We have a wonder to show you. This is the only wooden altar in the world. It, it has 366 pieces of wood. There are some writings on it. This wooden preacher's seat dates back to Seljuk period. This is around 700 to 1000 years old. This one is 1320 years old. It's amazing. After becoming a mosque, or let's say changing the temple to a mosque, this mosque is divided by these woods, pieces of woods, in half. There women used to pray, here men used to pray. Here used to be a wooden store. People used to make teas here and drink it. That one was another wooden store. Women used to make teas here, to drink it here in this temple. This place is wonderful. You must visit it. You feel the energy it has. Believe me, you must visit it. We are done visiting the main mosque of this village, Abiyane, which is called Jame Mosque. Talking about accommodation, this village is in good condition. You can either rent old houses or stay in a hotel this village has. Its name is Biuna. Stay with us to visit the hotel.
This is the Viona Hotel, the Hotel of Abione. Let's go inside and visit it together. Here we have a cafe and a restaurant. Let's go to the lobby of hotel. We have lift here but we use stairs. This is the lobby of hotel. As you see, it's furnished in a traditional way. Stay with us to visit the room. This hotel once is selected as the cleanest by visitors. Let's visit one of the rooms. Also, this hotel is considered the most traditional hotel. furnished in a traditional way each room has a dress as you see the dress has a wonderful landscape we have view of village avione Mountains and gardens. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found this video interesting and you are tempted to visit Abione. Before ending the video, please click the subscribe button as it motivates us to upload more videos. Goodbye.